Jonathan, great to see you, man. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. So this is the first location of Spin. This is the first ping pong club with a liquor license in the world. How many locations are there now? Uh, we've got five right now, two more opening in a few months, and three more opening next year. What's the furthest one from here? That would be San Francisco. Excellent. And this room is? This is our private room. We host tons of really fun private events, a lot of celebrities. Um, like who? Snoop Dogg, Kim Kardashian, Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. Prince used to come in a lot before he passed away. Um, so did Jack Kevorkian, actually. Interesting mix of people. Um, so what let you guys think that there could even be a thing in high-end ping pong? We identified that there wasn't really an opportunity to go out and play ping pong somewhere with booze in a nice environment. And we just, we just knew it would work, just somehow or another. <laughs> How much money did you raise to open it? Well, we raised $2 million on a, you know, bootstrapping it. I see. And how did Susan Sarandon come in as a early investor and co-founder? Well, we met uh, making a documentary film. Mm -hmm. She fell in love with ping pong and sort of the rest is history. Now, you signed a 15-year lease on this place in 2009. Yeah. The economy was basically falling apart. What were you thinking? Well, we were so passionate about about opening this that we we literally we begged for a 15-year lease and we got a five-year extension on top of that it was something that we were just compelled to do so we weren't worried about whether it was going to work or not because we were going to make it work that was our plan and i guess you were compelled to have a bathtub full of ping pong balls you want to get in the bathtub let's get in the bathtub all right let's do it Was there one event that put you guys on the map early on when you just when you first started here? Uh, our opening party was hosted by Vanity Fair, and that really gave us a big boost in sort of credibility. At the time, it was an unproven concept. How many employees do you have now? Man, I don't know. We have a bunch. Maybe Fr Frank would probably know the answer to that. Where's Frank? I don't know. Oh, he's just picking up some bows. <laughs> Let him? me help you out. All right. So how many employees do you have? We have 200 employees, mm -hmm. 15 in the headquarters, and we're hiring another 200 in the next six months. So your other locations, in 2014, you stopped franchising, you started just owning them. Why did you do it like that? For financial reasons, and also to have a better control on the brand. But we still have two franchises remaining. What were your revenues last year? I can't tell you that. Sure you can. No. What? If you win at ping pong, then I'll tell you. OK, it's on. Beatles or Rolling Stones? Rolling Stones. Drake or Kanye? Drake. Black Sabbath or Led Zeppelin? Led Zeppelin. Football or basketball? Basketball. Paris or London? Paris. Fried chicken or hamburgers? Hamburgers. 11 <laughs> five. thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got you. Way to go, man. You, you kick my ass, you kick my ass. So what was the biggest mistake you made when you were starting the company? You never really make a mistake because you run from it, right? Ah, I guess you do, I guess you do. What is the most important quality, do you think, uh, that you can find in a co-founder? To be a great double partner. <laughs> here he is. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, guys. What we got here? I Pleasure. got milkshake with some booze in it for us. Let's drink. We're all sharing. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. 